Hello and welcome to Permanent Tourist in Helsinki. I'm Harvey Roberts. In today's video, we're going to take a look at Cyberlink's latest update that is brought out for its Director 365 suite of programs. But it's not all good news, I'm afraid. Yes, Cyberlink has updated all four of its programs. We're going to be concentrating only on the Power Director 365 because the other three programs, they're just kind of under the hood tweaks, which no one really cares about. What? Now, PowerDirector itself has been updated. They keep tweaking the UI. I don't know why they keep tweaking the UI. There's nothing wrong with it. Why can't they update the tools that are already in the PowerDirector program? Because they're looking a little bit lackluster as of lately, and they need a little bit of refinement. Now, who remembers when Bill Gates gave away his CEO ship to Steve Ballmer or whatever his name is? And he wanted to make the Windows desktop look like the mobile Windows. What a fiasco that was. I've got a strange feeling Cyberlink is trying to do the same thing with the Power Director. Cyberlink, if you're watching this, please don't. It is horrible. Let those people that want the mobile version have the mobile version. And the people that want the desktop version, like myself, that's really nice. Keep it that way. I don't want to be messing around with this. Now, what they've done is they've taken the uh, mask designer. It's not there anymore where it's supposed to be, where it's always been. What are you doing down there? Looking for my mask. I got it. But I found it. I'm going to show you how to use it again and show you the problems that has come up with it. Now, this update, of course, has also brought out that the background removal tool doesn't work anymore. Oh, come on. However, I have a fix Woo! for you. Now, I contacted Cyberlink support uh, team, gave them a photograph of the problem and a detailed description of what it is that it, that's, that's causing the problem. And they sent this reply to me. <laughs> the generic goal <laughs> yourself. And also they said, if the problem persists, you can see down below, send them the DX Diag, which is uh, the Diag from the DX on your, on, your, on your computer, which doesn't give any information at all. All it does is gives relevant details about your computer. Now, obviously, they think that people are computer illiterate, everyone apart from themselves. Now, the background removal tool worked very fine before the update. Now it doesn't. But my workaround is going to give you a chance to uh, fix that. So uh, watch out for that. So now I've told you all the problems. Let's get into PowerDirector so I can show you how to deal with these and what they look like. So here we've got a new project to open. I'm going to bring in my stock media, this dancing girl from last week's video tutorial on, on our freeze frame. And I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into the mask design. And now we can double click on this or we can click on edit. Now, if you're using, of course, an earlier version, it would be tools here. And what we'd have here would be somewhere down at the bottom on this list on the left hand side would be mask designer. Now, you can see it's not here anymore. It's gone. It's right up here at the top where you see video, mask and animation. So we're going to click on mask. And then we get this little window and then you go, okay, what's this all about? Now these are presets. Now, if you're a beginner and you're, you, you come to this, you're going to, you're just going to ask yourself, what's this all about? Because what is this all about? If I click on this and then go, okay, what do I do now? How do I animate this? There's nothing here. There's no timeline here for this or anything. How does this work? Right. So let's click off that, get rid of that. Now here you can see we've got advanced down on the right hand side of this little window here. Click on advanced and now we get this craziness. Presets up here. Let's lift this up a bit so you can see all what we have here on this timeline. So this is nice. Now in the early, before this update, everything was here available to me. This was just wonderful. I could just do what I wanted. Now we've got these horrible presets. And now I've got to click on custom. So I'm clicking my mouse three times now and I've not done anything yet. So now we've got this. So let's have a look at the brush. Now these all work exactly the same as they did before, but 
as you can see uh, it, it, from my mouse, if I just go over the picture a little bit on the left hand side, you can see the circle there, right? Now, this video has got some very bright elements in it. So if I'm masking and I bring my mouse over, like you, you can see that circle as I move it around, but when I get to the waterfall, and then uh, it's disappeared. <laughs> uh, where is it gone? How am I supposed to use this? So you can see, um, it, even if I get a little bit frustrated with this, beginners are going to get really frustrated. And the, yeah, what you have to do is really do drop the tracing transparency right down so you can see. Now I can see my mouse, see that? But it makes this very difficult to work with. I, I don't like this at all. This is just horrible. Now they've got this auto object selection button up here. Now this is absolutely wonderful. It works just the same as it did before. It does a pretty good job of cutting it out, which is really nice. I like this. However, it's not where I want it to be now. So as you can see here on the top left corner from the video, there's this little re undo button. There's no reset. It's just this, and if, if you're not really looking, you'll miss this because they're so small. Now I'm going to click cancel. I don't want to. I, would, I don't want that. So now it's brought me back here into this window again, and I'm going to click now on polygon tool, and we get this, and it explains how you to put points around. And you go, okay, that's fine. So now we've got a polygon tool. Um, but this. Uh, Opacity, where's the opacity slider? Uh, this is a bit difficult, right? There's no opacity slider on this tool. And that little button that says automatically select, that would be wonderful here. It would automatically select and automatically put polygons or pickers or points for us so we can add and remove them as we wish. Now, we can zoom in, of course, which is which is really nice, but there's no hand tool. So I have to move it around with these sliders here, which is pretty horrible. I got to tell you. So we can put some points in. Let's just put in a few points like this. That's really cool, right? And they go like this and I'll just say that's that's what we want and I'm gonna say yeah no nah, I don't really want that I'm gonna to go to, to top left hand corner here just to undo all those and then I say you know what I really don't want to do this let's go back and find another one but the problem is when I go down to the right hand side and click on cancel it kicks me out altogether from the advanced masking so now I've got to click advanced again to get back to click on custom to get back to where I was. So if I click on polygon tool again, it can get the same stuff, right? And you do it, you think, and you think, nah, I don't want to click cancel. Oh, and it kicks me out again. What is that all about? Why have they done this? This is just stupid. So now we've got our clip down here on the timeline. Let's have a look at the background <laughs> removal tool because that is just absolutely crazy i'm going to spread this out because it's the same clip now i'm going to go somewhere random but not where we did um the last week's video to so somewhere else somewhere here like this now i'm going to just do this quickly i'm going to control t control p to create a snapshot here's my snapshot i'm going to click on downloads this is exactly what we used to do before click on downloads i'm going to keep it a snapshot just click on save like so brilliant go over to the left hand side to my media it'll have brought the snapshot in for me I'm going to bring my snapshot down onto my timeline and we're going to put it, let's let's put it here. I'm going to switch off this so we don't see this top layer. So it's only this one, see black, and then we get here. So let's double click this to get our back into the point position one on our timeline. I'm going to double click this, go back here to image, and here's the background removal, right? I'm going to click on background removal, uh, like you normally would. Click on background removal, like so. Oh, what's happened there? Look at this. That's not that. This cutout from the background removal is the very first one I did when after the update, when I did last week's video tutorial. It's not reset itself. It keeps bringing this back, like so. 
and there's no way to get rid of it. I can't get rid of it. So I have a solution. Isn't that wonderful, right? Now I'm going to control Z on my keyboard. Control Z, control Z, control Z. Go back. Let's find another position somewhere else. Let's go, let's see, let's go here. I'm going to control T, control P on my keyboard like so. Now it says instead of, I'm going to downloads. Now instead of having snapshot, I'm going to change this to, let's say, girl dancing near fountain, right? Save it. And now it's brought this in. Now I'm going to bring this in. I'm going to drop it down onto my timeline. We'll put it, let's put it right here at the beginning. Let's switch this off. Track number one. We don't want track one visible. Double click this open. Let's go to AI background removal. And there you go. It's cut it out for you. Pretty neat, right? So that is your workaround. You have to give them separate names constantly. Otherwise, it's just going to mess up. What a shit show. So there you go. That is my absolute big rant for today. Lots of problems to talk about here. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click subscribe. Give us a like. Ring that bell to be notified every time I upload new content. Go check out my channel for all things Cyberlink and more. Have a great day. Stay safe, people.